The last part of our website is going to involve using something called JavaScript. JavaScript is all about the behavior of the web page, what it acts like and what it does when you click on buttons or do things on the web page. For us, we want that when we click this button, our score will increase by one every time we click the button. So to do that, we're going to need to use JavaScript. And to use JavaScript, we're going to put at the very bottom of the body, right before the slash closing body tag, right above that, we're going to create another tag. And this tag is going to be called script. Inside of this script tag is where we're going to put all of our JavaScript. One of the first things we're going to need to do is keep track of what our score actually is. So right now in the HTML, it says zero, but this zero here in the HTML, it can't change. It's just a piece of text. We need a variable that can change over time. So in the JavaScript, in these script files, we're going to say let score equal zero. And what that does is create a variable called score and assign it equal to zero because our score starts at zero. The next thing we're going to want to do is going to look a little bit complicated. So what we have to do is get this button right here. We have to get this button in the JavaScript and then tell JavaScript to wait for that button to be pressed. And when that button is pressed, we're going to have it execute some line of code. We're going to have it do something. So to get this button, the first thing we're going to have to do is give it what's called an ID. And so the problem is in JavaScript is that I could have, what if I had a second button? Remember, we're going to have two buttons on this site in the end. There's one that's going to be called click me and there's one that's going to be called buy more clicks. So here's the question. How do I tell JavaScript which button I want? I can't just say button because there's two different buttons and I want different things to happen when I click on each button. To solve this problem, I'm going to use something called IDs. What we're going to do is give each of these buttons its own unique identifier. To create an ID for a button, you're going to go to the ending part of the button right here before this closing angle brace. You'll say space and say ID equals, and then we're going to give it an ID. And the ID for this one could be something like uh, score, because this button is going to change our score. So the ID of this button is equal to score. Now we can uniquely identify which button is which. We know this one is called ID score. So we can use a command in Java called document.getElementById. You're going to have to be really careful to type this in exactly as it's written. Document all lowercase, get lowercase, and then the E in element is capitalized, the B in by is capitalized, and the I in ID is also capitalized. Inside of here, we'll put the name of the ID we want to get. What we want to get is score. What this tells JavaScript to do is get the element called score by its ID. So the JavaScript is going to say, OK, where in this web page do I see something with the ID of score? It's going to search the page. It's going to find this button called ID score. And now the JavaScript knows where that button is. The next thing we need to do is we don't just need to know where the button is. We need the button to do something when it's clicked. So we need JavaScript to wait and listen for a click to happen. And as soon as a click happens, it's going to do something. So to do that, on the end of our score element that we created here, that we got right here, we're going to say dot add event listener like this. And then the event we're going to listen for is a click. Ooh, maybe let's make this a little bigger. The event we're going to listen for is a click, and then we're going to have it do something. So right now we're saying on the, uh, on the element with the ID of score, on this button with the ID of score, we're going to add an event listener. The event we're listening for is a click. And once we hear that click, we are going to do a set of code. We're going to have a set of code run. So that's what this function thing means. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about what this is. Basically, a function is just a set of instructions that the computer is going to run when we click the button. So what's important here is just to copy down this syntax of function, these open and close parentheses, and then the open curly brace. Be careful you get all of these right. This part can be a little bit tricky to do, so make sure you get all this syntax right. Inside of the function, we're going to tell the program what we want it to do. And what we want it to do is increase the score by 1. To increase the score by 1, we're going to say our variable score is equal to itself plus 1. Score is equal to score plus 1. So right now, score is 0, so it'll do 0 plus 1, which will be 1. And then the next time we run this, if we click it again, score will now be 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2, and score will be 2, and so on and so on, as long as we keep pressing the button. So if I refresh my page, and I try to click this button, you're going to notice that nothing happens. 
The reason is, actually something is happening. This score equals score plus one, this increase of the score, is actually happening. But remember, the HTML is the only thing that appears on our web page. So right here we say score is equal to zero, and we never tell JavaScript to make that number something different. We need to tell it to take this paragraph and update the value in it, to keep changing the value in it. So the way we're gonna do that is Again, we need, we're going to need another ID, right? Because I have two different paragraphs, and I don't want to change both of the paragraphs. I only want to change one of the paragraphs. To make sure I'm selecting the correct paragraph, I'm going to give this paragraph with score the ID of score text. And that way we can get this score text ID and update it in our JavaScript. So the first thing we need to do is find that ID, that paragraph with the ID of score text in our JavaScript. So to do that, we'll say document dot get element by ID and the ID we're looking for now is score text and then what we're gonna do is say dot inner text and what inner text is gonna do is set the text between these two paragraph tags between here and between here this score zero thing it's gonna reset it to whatever I tell it right here so what we want to change it to is score so now if I refresh my web page and I click the click me button, you're going to see score is actually going to increase. You're also going to notice that it's going to replace all of the text in here. This whole inner part is going to be just equal to the number score. If I want to show the word score also, I have to add that in. So in quotation marks, the text is equal to score plus the score. This is the variable score, which will be a number. This is the word score, which will show up uh, on the page like like this. Let me review really quickly what this JavaScript is doing. So right here we start the script tag right before the end of the body here. Um, and inside the script we start by creating a variable score and setting it equal to zero because we start at zero when we load the web page. The next thing we do is we need to find the button called score, the button with the ID of score. So document.get element by ID score and then we need to listen dot add event listener for a click on that button. So on that button score, we need to listen for an event that is a click. And then what we need to do is once that click happens, we're going to have it run all of the code inside this function. So function, open and close parentheses, open curly brace, and then inside of those two curly braces between here and here, we put everything we want to happen every time the button is clicked. So the first thing that happens is score is equal to score plus one. And then the next thing that happens is we update what that score looks like on the page. So document.getElementById score text. So that's this right here. That's this paragraph. And then we say it's inner text. What is what's inside of it? The stuff right here. That is set equal to score plus score. The word score followed by whatever number our score is right now. And that creates a web page that looks like this. And when we click, we see that it can update the score. In the next video, I'm going to add on just a little bit more so we can do this buy more clicks button. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use if statements in JavaScript, and we're just going to redo some of this code again so you guys get the hang of writing it, because we're going to have to use some of the same stuff to make the second button work.